What's up, Capricorn? How are you guys doing? How creepy is that? Hi, Capricorn. How are you doing? What if I did your whole reading like that? Like ASMR tarot. All right, just kidding. All right, so what's up, you guys? I decided to do, um, <clears throat> I don't know, a face reading today. Is that what you would call it? I don't know. All right, Capricorn, this is for you guys. Let me just get comfy here. Yes. Woo, I got my MTV shirt on. What's up, you guys? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Capricorn. This is your love life. This is going to be June 15th through June 30th. This is for everybody. Singles, coupled, whoever you are. All right. I know that I did the new oracles for you. Spiritual as fuck. We're going to do another one for you because that was just, well, fun as fuck. So as you probably already know, sometimes I say bad words on this channel. If it offends you, hard left. All right. Let's see what's up for you guys. This is for Capricorn. If you guys need a private reading, all the info is below. Phone readings are booking up. Book it. You can use it whenever you want. You just got to book it by June. You do. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Capricorn. What do we see coming in for Capricorn? If this one hits home, support mom here and hit the thumbs up, please. Well, there's your oracle card, Capricorn. Let's see what it is. It just flew out. You got two. It's okay, guacamole. I'm extra as fuck, too. That's what it reads. All right, being extra means you give a shit. Maybe you give a shit about your on fleek eyebrows. <laughs> or you give a shit about the environment. Or you give a shit about making your ass clap. I can't make this shit up. I know this is going to offend some of you guys. I don't care. I really don't. It's my channel. Be extra today. Yup, it's a thing, it reads. I can't make it up. Accept the good in your life and know you're a fucking delight, Capricorn. Once you notice the good shit going on in your life, more good shit starts happening. It's like a magnet or a drunk beetle. Fun fact, once a, dr a dung, a dung beetle, not drunk, dung. Once a dung beetle gets a little nub of poop, he runs around with it and more poop sticks to it and grows and grows. Goodness is like that. I'm not on board with that one. I don't really like it because I don't like the word. I don't like that word. But we're going to see how that plays into your reading, Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm having a pretty good day. Now, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, and we're going to get going. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sorry. I know. I know. The camera shakes when I shuffle. I can't do anything about it. I apologize, Capricorn. What's coming in for Capricorn, June 15th through June 30th. Maybe if we're lucky while I'm doing your love reading, the big fat train will come through. All right, and shake and rattle this whole effing bedroom. It's a lot of fun when that happens. All right, Capricorn, what do we see coming in for you guys? June 15th through June 30th, 2019. Love energy for Capricorn. One more shuffle and we're going to get to it. I feel like I have like chapstick stuck to my lips. You know when it like all, you guys probably don't know, but you ladies know what I'm talking about. When the lipstick or chapstick gets like clogged up. It's a big clusterfuck is what it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see Capricorn what's coming in for you guys in love. Let's check it. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? <clears throat> we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. What's up? The challenge is the Two of Swords in reverse, Capricorn. What's on your mind? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be yourself on your mind. Maybe it's another Earth sign. Maybe it's a husband. Maybe it's just your job. Imagine that, Capricorn. Recent past, what do we have? The Page of Wands in reverse. The situation is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Coming into the near future, you're going to experience the Five of Swords. Really? How you see yourself right now is the Eight of Swords. You guys are feeling trapped. External to you, what's headed your way? The Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Money looks really badass for you guys, too, just as a little side tangent. I know you Capricorns will be happy to hear that. Money looks badass. You got the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. In your emotions is the Six of Cups in reverse, and the outcome, we have the Six of Swords. This is my ain't nobody got time for that shit card. That's what this is. I'm getting in my boat, and I'm calling an Uber. I'm out. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. 
Not living in any type of illusions, are we, Capricorn? All right, coming in right now. Yeah, so with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you guys feel like you don't have any options or you're coming to the reality about a situation, the person, whatever it is. You see the truth of it. You do. Coming in right now, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Walking around like you're happy, but maybe not really happy. Feeling drained emotionally. Could be a breakup, could be a divorce. We're going to see. Whatever it is, it's completing. It's a 10. We're getting out of that. Your challenge is the two of swords in reverse. It's to come to some type of decision. Take off the blindfold. Make a decision here. Now, on your mind is the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. You might be dealing with another earth sign. You might be really focused on money, too. King of Pentacles is stable, grounded, though. <clears throat> is about long-term. This is usually husband, daddy, that kind of energy. He likes to build. He likes to take care of his family. He's all about commitment. Very slow energy, but I'm just saying. Recent past, you have the page of wands in reverse, so a cut in communication. Maybe something wasn't manifesting. But the situation, why everything's happening, is the eight of cups in reverse. Somebody's returning to the scene of the crime. Capricorn. See yourself right now as the Eight of Swords. You guys feel trapped to the situation, stuck in your head, or you're literally in jail. I doubt you're watching this, though, if you're in jail, but this is my jail card. But you feel like you're in that mental prison. You're thinking about this over and over and over. For some of you, a lot of times the foundation, this has already happened. So somebody's already returned, probably. And so you guys are thinking about it. You feel stuck and trapped to this. What they're bringing is the Ten of Pentacles. So marriage, stability, long-term, love you a long time. It's also a social card. It's gatherings. It's building a legacy together, property, that kind of shit. But in love, it's a relationship or a commitment or a marriage. All right, but in your emotions right now, you're having some negative memories of the past. You're having some nostalgia, but, well, they're not good memories here. You're thinking about a past situation and shit that went down, basically. Now, the outcome, we have the Six of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, a Capricorn. We're going to have to see what that Six of Swords is. Usually, typically, uh, yeah, it's travel, okay, or it's moving, like somebody's literally moving. The Six of Swords is moving on more so in your mind, but it could literally be moving on from a person. But also, that Six of Swords, Capricorn, it's all about coming to some type of resolution. Okay, so we're going to see if this is you or them moving on from the other, or if you guys are getting to those calmer waters together. Because you notice in this card, the whole family's in the boat. He called an Uber boat, and he put the entire family in it. He's not leaving anybody, so they're going to calmer waters. They're leaving shit behind. So we're going to have to see what this is. All right, Capricorn, what do we have for Capricorns? Love life. What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Capricorn. Capricorn, June 15th through June 30th, 2019. Yep. 2019 what's coming in for Capricorn the 15th through the 30th what do they need to know in regards to their love life two more shuffles wow I just like my peripheral vision I saw my ceiling fan moving but for a second I forgot that it was there and I thought something was moving behind me I was like holy shit like I don't have enough energy coming into this room y'all I've been doing some channeling and let me tell you that shit's fucking real. All right, if any of you guys need any channeling help, <laughs> hit mom up here. Because apparently I bring in people. <sighs> Which is wonderful. I love being able to do that and, like, reunite people and give them clarity and all this stuff. But that's some heavy shit. And with all the water in my chart, I'm a big fat mess. Like, I end up crying usually the entire time. So, hit me up. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's cut this Capricorn into three and see what's moving and shaking. All right, your overall energy is the seven of cups in reverse. You see the reality of a situation of a person, or they do you. We got water energy. What's the seven of cups? Yeah, the ace of pentacles in reverse. There's a delay. The ace of pentacles in reverse for me, that's your energy. Um, to me, it's still there, but there's a delay of a new beginning here, right? Somebody's not putting worth or value into a resurgence of an energy. What's this ace of pentacles? Some of, somebody might be having money issues, but I don't really feel that. I think that there's just a delay here. Why is this um, ace of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, 
you guys haven't made a decision yet. Somebody hasn't come to a final decision yet. I do believe somebody's returned or they will shortly. But there's like, with judgment, this is like judgment day. This is a big ass decision that changes the course of your life. It's like the angels come down and, you know, you've got some big decisions to make and somebody hasn't done that yet. And it has, it's in regards to getting this thing off the ground again. Now the past, you have the page of wands in reverse. Somebody might've been a little immature with their communication or there was a cut in communication. The page of wands in reverse can also be bad news, but we have fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. What's this about for Capricorn? The 10 of wands. Also too, some of you guys have kids. Um, there might've been some issues with the kids that was causing a lot of burdens, a lot on your plate, or you guys were just waiting on some type of like good news or something to manifest. And it was causing a lot of wor worries and burdens, but that cycle completed or it's coming soon. You have two tens here. So, oh no, three tens. So big changes, cycles completing. Uh, what's this ten of wands about for Capricorn? What is it? Yeah, the eight of swords. Somebody released. There was just too much worry, too many burdens. I'm out. Somebody might have been kind of lazy too with that page of wands. And it's just like, mm, I'm done. I'm releasing. So, but now coming into the current moment, you got the ten of cups in reverse. So a lack of happiness. It might be affecting the home, the family. Could have been a divorce. What's this uh, ten of cups? Can be depression. The star in reverse, giving up. Somebody's giving up the hope or faith here, and I think that's why there's this lack of a decision quite yet on what to do. The star in reverse, uh, Aquarius energy. Lack of healing. I feel like um, there's some healing that needs to be done here still before you guys can make this. Just, yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse. That's your energy just not working together. There's no teamwork right now. All right, and that's why the challenge is going to be to make this decision regarding somebody that wants to return, has returned, or will return. Why is this two of swords in reverse? What is it? The seven of swords in reverse. It's gonna it's gonna get to it's gonna be to get to somebody to quit avoiding the connection. There's a decision that needs to be made, and that's the challenge. And the challenge is you can't avoid it. Like you gotta make that decision. All right. Somebody might feel guilty too, but on your mind is this king of pentacles it could be another earth sign why is this on capricorn's mind the page of cups in reverse again i'm getting children feeling here on your mind you guys might just be concentrating on work you're putting all your effort and focus into work with that king of pentacles probably um because with the page of cups somebody's just you're not offering your love you're not sure capricorn with the page of cups could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, a lot of Pisces. Why is this Page of Cups in reverse? Why is it the Page of Wands in reverse? We got the King of Pentacles here, which is Daddy, Husband. And then we've got a lot of pages. So a lot of you have kids with this person. Page of Wands in reverse, again, you're not manifesting, you're not communicating. You guys are just putting your focus somewhere else. Now the situation in the foundation is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody's returned, or they will, or they want to. Why is this, or they just can't shut off their emotions. Why is this Eight of Cups here in reverse? The Ace of Swords in reverse. But there's a lack of a breakthrough here. There's no clarity on the situation. Somebody's, it's almost like somebody's returned, or they will, but they don't know what the hell to do when they get back. And I feel like it's ma mainly you, Capricorn, that's not, just kind of shutting it down right now. Yeah, the seven of wands in reverse. Let's check that out. Why is the, the seven of wands in reverse here in the foundation? Why is it here? Why is it here? The seven of pentacles. Somebody wants to let down their guard here because they're still waiting and they're invested. More Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, but they don't have clarity on how to do it <clears throat> or they don't have clarity on if you're going to let them do it. Now, remember, the energy can be vice versa. But in the foundation here, we have somebody that can't turn off their emotions. They want to return and they're waiting. They're reflecting on the past. They just don't have this breakthrough yet. <clears throat> coming in, you're going to experience the Five of Swords. Why is this coming in to Capricorn's near future? Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. I feel like Capricorn, this is more you guys. Ex what you're going to experience in the near future, that Five of Swords could be taking your power back. Doesn't always have to be manipulation, severance, hurt. It can, of course. It's challenges, but it's also change. You guys are changing the tune, and you're taking your power back. You are the third swordsman. You will be. And it's because of this Knight of Cups energy in reverse. You're not offering it. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Why is this here? The Hermit, sign of Virgo. You guys are going to isolate, pull away. You're trying to gain some wisdom on the situation and figure some shit out. You might even be asking advice. Sometimes that Hermit, while they seclude, they withdraw, they pull away. 
isolate, ghost, whatever the hell they do, sometimes they seek advice from somebody else too. It can be a counselor, a therapist, a friend, whatever. Yeah, the page of pentacles in reverse. That's you guys. Capricorn, not invested here. You're not coming into the near future. You're not going to be invested or you're not going to communicate this. You see yourself right now as the eight of swords. I think right now, I don't even feel like the Eight of Swords can be um, a blockage, too. It can be a rejection, a stalemate energy. I don't really feel like this is you guys so much feeling trapped. as You're probably thinking about it a lot. Why is this? I think this is more you guys kind of keeping this at a stalemate. Yeah, death. Sign of Scorpio. Why is death here? Why does Capricorn see them? So I think you guys are ending this. Why is death here for Capricorn? What is it? Yeah, the Five of Cups. You're, you're thinking back at the past. You're, you're thinking about it with the Eight of Swords. You do feel a sense of being a little bit trapped, but I think this is more just ignoring because that Eight of Swords is also can be stalemate energy or rejection. You guys want to end something here because there was some negative shit to the past. You're, you're, there's too much remorse and sadness. Yeah, the lovers in reverse, sign of Gemini. It's a disunion, a, a breakup. Now, what they're bringing is the Ten of Pentacles. So outside of you, external to you, the energy coming in, Capricorn, is this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this coming in for Capricorn? What is it? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody might feel codependent towards you on finances and money. I don't think so. This is more, that Nine of Pentacles in reverse is, I can't live without you. I can't. I'll hide in your bushes. I'll hide under your bed. I don't really care. I cannot effing be without you okay it's a marriage a commitment they want this with you and they don't want to be without you my dog charlie just barked yeah the page of sword they're probably keeping an eye on you libra gemini aquarius especially because the energy surrounding you guys is mm -mm, not having it so they're you know watching you that kind of thing why the page of swords why is this page of swords here what is it the Ten of pentacles in reverse they might be having some money issues i'm just saying they don't have to be but because there's a breakup or there's a lack of stability or you guys have pulled the plug, something to that energy, they want that back. And because they're not getting it, they might be, they may communicate. Well, they probably are because I think they've already returned or they will be. That page of sword speaks the truth, but the page of sword is also keeping an eye on you because they feel this lack of stability. Yeah, see, here they come, the Knight of Pentacles. Heavy Virgo energy. But it's just the energy of moving in slowly. They have a pentacle. Take my pentacle, Capricorn. Take it. That Knight of Pentacles is very slow because they want to build. They're thinking. They're being responsible. How do I do this? Right? Because they want to build for the future. It's going to take a little while, but they're coming in heavy. Uh, now, in your emotions is the Six of Cups in reverse. You Again, you could have kids with this person. If not, you're thinking about the past, but it's not great memories of the past. Yeah, the Three of Wands in reverse. You're turning your back. I could say third party. I mean, I could just throw it out there for hell. For somebody, it might be. You know, there may have been a third party, but you just don't see your ships coming in more than anything with this energy, and you're turning your back on it. Too much negative shit from the past. Why is the three of wands here in Capricorn's emotions? Yeah, the eight of wands. Hey, guess what? This doesn't always mean communication and arrows of love. I mean, it can. But this is also the wands are action and they're movement. It's moving forward. You guys are manifesting and I think you're releasing because the eight of wands is release. Cross watchers, don't get in my fucking comments or, you know. I love how cross watchers love to give the thumbs down. You should go check out the Libra video. It's hilarious. It was a kick-ass um reading for Libra and there's like 35 thumbs down. There's no way those are Librans. They're all cross watchers. So, you know, this is uh, Capricorn's reading. So I don't know what to tell y'all, but y'all Capricorn, y'all are uh, releasing. What's the eight of wands here? Yeah. The two of wands in reverse. There's no plans being made for the future here. It's taking a big fat seat and not doing anything. So the outcome has the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here in the outcome? June 15th through June 30th, 2019. For Capricorn, what is it? Temperance. You guys are getting balanced back. You're getting your emotions balanced. Sign of Sagittarius. But you guys are tempering the waters. The temperance card is being patient. It's bringing um, equal balance to your life. And it's healing. And it's all that good shit. It's very zen. But also, the temperance card is about kind of just feeling lukewarm. It's like, I'm good. I'm calm, cool, and collected is temperance. You guys are just moving on is what I see. Why is temperance here, please? Why is it? Yep, six of cups in reverse. Again, 
could be a soulmate that you're dealing with or again you have kids with this person but the six of cups and there's just too many negative memories tied to the past some shit went down all right and you guys are tempering your own emotions you're finding balance and you're doing that by just moving forward six of wands yeah you'll get victory some of you are going to start getting some other attention here too with the six of wands why is the six of wands here also this person probably wants your attention you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Queen of Cups in reverse, not offering it. That Queen of Cups in reverse is just not offering the emotion. They're not. One more card, the Ace of Wands. See, I told y'all, y'all have a new beginning coming in with the Ace of Wands. Now we have to see what it is. A passionate new beginning, but also, too, it's an Ace, so it's brand new. It's taking action towards new things. What's this Ace of Wands? The Queen of Swords in reverse, because you guys, you guys are just cut off, completely detached, cut off some of you are pissed because there are some negative memories here to the past so that's what i have for you capricorn love me hard and i'll love you hard back take care you guys talk to you later